Hi guys, this look that I'm doing for you today is from the music video of Light and Darkness by Shane, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, Layton? Yeah, it just came out and it's a really good song, I really liked it and she had a couple different looks in the music video so I kind of came up with a mixture of all the looks, kind of, and created my own kind of spin on it. I mean, it's pretty close to what she had on, but um, they kept changing it up. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. First I applied an eyeshadow primer to prevent my shadows from creasing. Next I take Smolder by MAC and I start mapping out my shape. In short strokes I create a cut crease and bring it down by my nose and upwards towards my brow. I also line my bottom lash line. This doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to smudge it out in a second. Next I take this accent brush from Real Techniques and I start smudging out the liner in the outer corner, fading it into my crease and lid and bring it down about a third of the way. With the tip of this brush I start cleaning up my line, getting it crisp and defined. Next I take Deep Truth by MAC. This is a frosted deep blue. With the pencil brush I start applying this to my crease just along the black liner and making sure I don't get any on my socket or lid area. Next I take Night Divine by MAC. This is a shimmery gunmetal gray. I don't want this to be too dark so I lightly place this on the outer corner of my eye and on my lid. Next I take Tiara Loose Eyeshadow by Sugar Pill. This is a metallic silver with a high shine. With the flat brush I apply this on top of Night Divine. I really want to build up some sparkle in my inner tear duct so I pick up more tiara. Next I take Bulletproof by Sugar Pill. This is a matte black shadow. With a small pencil brush I concentrate most of the color on the outer V part of my eye and on my lower lash line. I also define the inner peak and I take this just along the edges of my shape, still allowing Deep Truth and Tiara to peek through. I don't want my edges to be too harsh, so I take a clean blending brush and buff out the edges. Next I take a cotton swab and clean up under my shape, and set with a face powder and a pencil brush. Next I line my top lash line and bring it out to a dramatic wing. I take Smolder again and line my waterline and tight line. I go back to my face powder and highlight under my brow. This will also help blend out the blue and the black. Next I apply these Halloween Store False Lashes. I go back to my Clinique Gel Liner and with the large synthetic angle brush I create a diagonal line from one side of my forehead towards the other. Here I start smudging the line downwards and then I set it with Carbon from MAC. Next I start creating my fishnet design on my forehead. With the same angle brush I start creating my diagonal lines. With the large fluff brush I take carbon from MAC and start filling it in. I switch from bulletproof to carbon because carbon is a lot less pigmented and if I would have used bulletproof I would have lost the fishnet design. Then I start applying eyelash glue and rhinestones. In the video she had more rhinestones and more of the fishnet design. I didn't have enough rhinestones to do the entire piece but if you do decide to recreate it just work with whatever you have. Here's the finished look for the eyes and the forehead piece. I just added more rhinestones along my eyes. For my face I've already applied foundation. Here I'm contouring with Harmony by MAC. For my blush I apply Max Cantaloupe. For my lips I apply a black coal eyeliner and smudge it out. Lastly I apply Black Knight lipstick from MAC. And here is my Of Light and Darkness music video inspired look. Thanks for watching. Bye.